Hi everyone, my name is Varmar and in this video I'm going to try to teach you within a few minutes how you can differentiate your code in between clients, dedicated servers, standalone mode or listen servers and even furthermore in listen servers separate the client from the server authoritative state. Now if you run into a game development milestone where you need to execute your code differently depending on each of these, then you are on the right place. I will teach you how you can perhaps execute your code on clients, pure clients, dedicated servers, li listen servers, and even inside clients versus server, or perhaps the standalone mode. Now, how, what I do usually, and I will explain you my way, is that I usually, the first step or step one, I separate the net clients from everyone else. And this is basically just saying, take whoever does not have authority from everyone else. So what I do is I say is local controller and I take an end boolean node and I say is local controller targeting self, of course, I'm doing it in the player controller. If you execute it anywhere else, get a reference for the player controller that you want to check. So you say is local controller and has authority, not, not boolean node. And that means that it's a local controller and it does not have any authority. What that's going to be, that's just going to be net clients. It's going to be clients who join to the friend's Steam session or the um, uh, multiplayer dedicated server environment. But either way, those are net clients. They don't have any server authoritative state. They are pure clients. So that's going to be step one, saying that has to be local controller and does not have any authority. Again, going to be clients joined to friends Steam or any other multiplayer subsystem session, or it's going to be clients joining into a dedicated server, either way, pure net clients. The false side of things are going to be multiple things. Now the false side of things are still going to be the dedicated servers. So all dedicated server will go uh, false from here. Why? Because dedicated server has authority, but doesn't have a local, I mean, yeah, has authority and it doesn't have a local controller. So obviously the false slide, it will go like this. The standalone games, because standalone games has authority. And even though they're local controllers, but they, they, they have authority. So they, the first branch, they go onto the false slide. Listen servers. Now listen server is tricky because they are clients, but they're also servers. So whoever is the player one, the session hoster, uh, whoever hosts a session that the friends are joining to, going to act like a client, but also going to act like a server at the same time. Because of that, it's going to be a local controller, sure, but it will have authority. And that's why the first pre-check is nice, because you took every single net client out of the way, so now you're just dealing with anything that has server authoritative state. And what I do here is I simply do like this into a branch which says is locally controlled, target is pawn, and then get a reference to the pawn. If you are in the player controller, you can just say get controlled pawn, target is controller, and then you connect it to the ease locally controlled. What does that mean? It means does this player controller, uh, wh whatever wherever pawn this player controller is controlling, is that a locally controlled pawn? And why this is a good stuff is because before this execution line reached here, right? You had dedicated servers, you had listen servers, you had standalone modes, and now it goes into this branch and it says, okay, uh, do you control a locally controlled pawn? And if it's true, who's going to have it true? Well, it's going to be standalone modes and it's also going to be the client part of the listen server, right? So in, at this stage, you are having this true execution line from the branch to be either a client of the listen server or a full standalone mode, right? Who's going to have the false side of things? Well, that's going to be your classic de uh, dedicated server. Why? Because dedicated server do not own any controlled pawn. So this is going to be your dedicated server. And then this is going to be your listen servers client side of things. What else going to be here? Going to be the listen server, server side of things, okay? So just so you visually can do, I am the server side of the listen server. I am the, let's just edit this one. I am the dedicated server, right? So you're gonna have 
the dedicated server, you're gonna have the server side of the listen server, both on the false side of things, and you're going to have the client side of the listen server, and you're also going to have the standalone mode. Why? Because standalone mode does control a pawn. Now, if you also want to differentiate in between these kind of things from this true part, you could just copy the has authority line from here, and you could say, if it's true, let's also go into a branch, right? Like this. And that particular branch, let's just check if it does have authority, like this. And that, if it's true, that's your standalone mode. If it's false, that's your client of the listen server. Simple as that. Let's just copy it like this, like this. And then let's call this one client of listen server, right? Actually, let me just remove this so it's not out of the way, right? Client of listen server, standalone mode this this is going to be your server of listen server and it's going to be your dedicated server like this what else you have well you also have net clients so you could do like this and you say i am net client so just to recap first you may differentiate in between anything that has authority or not and basically here you got I am client, net client's going to be here, anything that joins to a friend session, anything that's joined to a online dedicated server, matchmaking, whatever environment, as a net client. And then the fourth side of things goes into this particular branch. Here, you're separating server side of the listen servers, as well as dedicated servers from the clients of the listen server and the standalone game. If you need further modification, just go to the has authority. And from there, does the client of the server server has authority? No. So that's going to be like this. And does the client uh, of the listen server has authority? No, like this, okay? Does the standalone mode has it? Yes, standalone mode has authority. So that's basically how you differentiate and in this case, you have pure execution lines. Well, except that the server of the listen server and the dedicated server, both pure authoritative states without any player controllers, control pawns or anything. So if you would want to make a difference in between them, you would kind of need to get the net game mode from here. And you would say, get net mode, uh, listen server true. Then you continue, get net mode dedicated, then you continue. So you could further define this particular execution line but since most of the cases you most likely just want to have the server state separated, you either going to be using either one of these. Um, and then that's basically it. That's how you do it. You do a pre-check, you take all your net clients, and from there you do a second check, you take all your server side of things out of the way, and then you get your standalone mode, and then you get your client listen server side of things. And why did the standalone model is here instead of moving it somewhere here is because it's a locally controlled pawn. So it's going to continue to be true. And here you can further refine, but basically this is kind of a client. This is also kind of a client. This is also kind of a client. And down here at the bottom, you have everything else that's server. And usually that's how I do it. If I want to execute something on the client, but all clients, not just this client, but this client and also this client, that's the whole logic flow I'm doing. I hope I helped someone with this short video. I hope it was informative. If yes, please consider subscribing and I see you at the next one.